Hey guys, what's going on? It's Nock. Welcome along to a brand new video. Today we're going to play the Borealis of Thesis from Hugo B. Designer. If you're new to the channel, please like and subscribe. I'd really appreciate the support. But without further ado, let's jump into the description. Medium hard, arise, arise, and step forth, dear test subject. Reclaim what is rightfully yours and rejoice in the glory of your achievement, for you are no longer a child, and I am no longer your overseer. The gates of the chamber lock are open, and the great cave Johnson shall proclaim, Behold, for it is shut. Or is it Chell? Not Chell. God, people criticise me for that. Who enters the test? Here now. And know that it, sh at it is she, the true heir of heir of Apache Kingdom, and I can't talk. She has marched through the testing tracks and conquered the central core. The panel shall tremble and the turrets shall cower under the lights of your might. Uh, my entry for the latest TBF, which is uh, with the theme unnamed, where the challenge was to create a puzzle that didn't use portals or portal guns. I knew how to make another Talos theme map, so here it is. Unfortunately, I did not have time to implement the magic bullet before the deadline, nor have I managed to implement the optional star sigils. For that, I apologise. Design is a bit rough around the edges, and the room there is there is, and the room is immense, so some solutions may arise. Please do let me know if you found any. The button at the start map serves as an anti-trapping for reset. Cube throwing will not be fixed. Do not ask. Um, <coughs> <coughs> Music from Rexora. Theme clean. 25 minutes ETA and uh, a load of updates and a load of um, playthroughs by one that I've never seen before called Fartman. Interesting name. Alright, anyway, let's jump in, shall we? So that's the full reset button. Laser collision is off, of course. Alright, so... If you haven't seen these before... This is... Um, these are Hugo's Talos principle themed maps, which are... Freaking absolutely awesome. If you haven't had a chance to play the first one, I highly recommend you do. I'll try and remember to put a link to it in the description. If at all I can. Is the music playing? Honestly, I can't hear anything over the rain, and I don't know if you can hear the rain. That probably helps a bit, actually, because it is hammering it down, and I have a plastic roof on my conservatory. Alright, so, I don't know, we don't seem to be able to do anything with this at the moment. Okay, so that's like an escape path. Oh yeah, uh, about that. I can't do that, can I? I done did forgot. But what we should probably do is aim that kind of over there. So that once we get that opened... Things will start happening again. Oh boy. Right, so two directions we can do this. We can do this to here or to there. I'm guessing we're probably going to want to do both at some point during the map. Just surmising stuff right now. So we need two things to open that. Okay, so we have what's effectively the buzzer in Talos here. Um, I mean, it kind of looks like what Hugo is doing here is 
stopping us from doing things like this. But hey, we're going to try it anyway, because I'm knock. And I do things like this. So yeah, I believe that's what that buzzer's for, is to stop that. I guess I'm going to want to get that companion cube first, though. So did I miss something? Or another direction at all? So I think I'm probably going to have to fling that, maybe. I think I'm going to have to fling that, maybe. My English gets better every day. Like snow joke. You see, the issue there is I can't really do that because I mean, down here I just realised as well. I wouldn't even be able to do that because um, I wouldn't be able to get on the faith plate then go across there. So bring both cubes into here. To open that, I need one cube in there. But at the minute, I don't know how to get a cube over there. Which is fine. There's a return path into there from that side as well. Yeah. Unlike in the original map, we have like the what's effectively the buzzers. Uh, sorry, the delayed lasers. Delayed activators, whatever you want to call them. To stop that from happening.
Am I being dumb? Or I, I just cannot see how to get started here. Sure, I can do cube swaps. I'm sure I could do that. But we all know that cube throwing is not intended. And that would be no good to me anyway, because um, there's no way back there. So, yeah. Um, Honestly and truthfully, I don't know how to get started here. Put the key over the fizzler. Um... Excuse me. Can I? The answer is no. Alright, so how long does this need to be activated for? Is the next question. Can I maybe get this other cube? Oh, wait a minute, no. Duh, that's, that's exactly it. Alright. It only took us 
15 minutes. But we have progress. Alright. All right, so then we're going to do this. Something like that. Maybe I should get the other cube as well. Yeah, okay. Alright, so. Let's now point this to here. We'll leave that one there for now. I should have taken this one out. So that one, one little thing that we like to do, let's imagine we did that before we did that. Okay. But before we do this, yep, no, that's already on there. Fly, my friend. Fly like you've never flown before. Oh. Oh. Why did I think that was hitting that one? Gotta be through there to do that. Um, um, Excuse me. So I think what I actually need to do
point that over there. It wouldn't make sense though, would it? So if we point that to like there for instance, we walk back round. Give myself more of an angle. Walk back round. I need two cubes in here though for that to work. Um Thing is, I'm not going to get two cubes in here at the minute. So I don't think that's the right thing to do. I could take another cube over there, but I think that would break things. That wouldn't really help. The fact that this is all open... intrigues me. If that was there, that's pointing to there, that's pointing to there. I can't see through to there. These ones don't do anything else.
Um, Well, I'll be honest, I've had a bit of a brain fart with this. I can't, for the life of me at the minute, see what I need to do next. Which is weird, really, because the fact that I got an extra cube, you'd think there'd be like a whole, whole, whole load of stuff extra that I can now achieve, but it's not the case. I need another cube in there so that I can open that up. But at the minute, I can't take another cube in there. It's catch-22 because I need another cube to open that up, but I need a laser to... Hold on. No, I don't want to do that to faith plate. Okay, I think I may have just been being a bit dumb about this. I don't know though because it'll fix the short term solution. But I don't have a way to get through into there now because I don't have a cube here.
feel like this is something where I need to point a laser through the fact that it's grated off in this like sort of area here, but I can't I can't picture what that is. Alright, so what if instead new tactics What if this is a thing? But no, I'm still one cube short to do this, aren't I? <sighs> still one cube short to do that, and I can't see that. I could do all these things to open up the paths, but I don't see how I can get that second cube in here at the minute. And plus about that there anyway, I would need to be I'd already have to have the cube in there though, wouldn't I? Alright, um, I'm running out of time to do this recording now, so um, I'm going to take it away, have a think about it, but um, I don't know, just uh, my mind's not really locked into it at the minute for some reason, I don't know why, uh, but I will give it some thoughts and hopefully we'll be back with this real soon and uh, making some progress. All right, guys, we are back with the Borealis of Thesis. And um, I've been sat here for about 10 minutes. I've been thinking about this um, off camera as well, trying to think of what I can do. Now, I think I'm going to do something similar to what I did before, but use lasers in a different path. If that makes sense at all. Which I don't know if it does. But. Here's what I'm going to attempt to do. Um. So, so 
I don't know how I can do that already, actually. So the idea was going to be kind of like, put that to there. No, okay, I, I still haven't got enough cubes. So I was thinking on the possibility that I could use this laser instead of the two lasers out of there but the minute I start using one of those lasers I eradicate the ability to open up this side so it's not right at all It's not possible to, yeah, because that's going to block an angle on that. So, all right, so contrary to the title, or to my not to the title, but to the uh, my beliefs, I am not sure what I need to do here. So. I'm going to sit around in the map a little bit more, think about it, and uh, come back. Be back soon. Alright, so, a little bit of time has passed, and as you can see, we have got this open. And it was so much simpler than I was, things I was trying to do. Um, so, basically, we're going to do exactly the same as we did first time around. It's as simple as that. But obviously we've got the cube in the, uh, the differing position now. I thought I tried this earlier on, but um, alas, obviously I had not. So, that'll do that, that'll do that. We'll fly back over here with this cube. And that, Simply put, is how you open that up. Jeez. Alright, save there. So now we can actually go and use this faith plate. And get across to here. Which means we can open up this. And we have a cube here. Okay, so now what we can do because we're going to need a laser cube over here to get that one, but we can we can use this cube now. We can use this cube to do lots of other stuff. So the first thing I want to do is get that cube. So we'll take this. 
come over to here. Go all the way back around here. Okay. Because now we have this cube. We can do something like this. Okay. And now we're here, we can go and get this other cube by moving this laser here to hit that one, right? Save. Okay. And now I think we're done. Because I've now got three cubes. Four, uh, three cubes on this side, one cube on that side that we can take all across, right? Oh, but wait a minute. Alright. Don't know if I should have done that just yet, actually. And here's why. I think we should probably do that. This one can stay open all the time. Now I think we're done. Wow, the, the hardest part of that puzzle. The hardest part of that puzzle was setting up that laser. And once I'd worked that out, we literally solved the rest of it in like a matter of minutes. But you know what? That was a really good puzzle, Hugo. I'm a bit mad at myself that I didn't see what I did to... Um, what I did in the first instance. What I didn't see that again. I'm quite mad with myself that I didn't see that. But um, to activate that one, to then work, use the same technique to get to there. But no, good puzzle, Hugo, as always, for a no portal puzzle. That is a fantastic job. And of course, we can lock ourselves in kind of thing, if we so desire. But I'd just rather take it with me. And fizzle it. Good map, Hugo. Thank you very much for making, and um, I look forward to whatever comes next. Guys, thank you very much for watching. As always, like, comment, subscribe down below. If you've got any match slides to pay, please leave in the comments or head to my Google form. A link to that is in the description. But until next time, I've been Knock, you've been awesome. See ya.